Fridays can be fun. Open your eyes to the world around. Joy and friends to be found. Let's talk in English. Learning together can be fun. The journey's begun. The journey's begun. Let's talk in English. Uh, I mean, hello. Welcome to Let's Talk in English on PTS and the radio. I'm Campbell. Andrea? Oh, I'm sorry. Andrea is not available right now. Can I take a message? Okay. All right. Bye. Hi, Campbell. Hi, students. Welcome to the show. So, who was on the phone? I don't know. Some guy. He wanted to talk to you. Really? A guy? Well, who was he? What was his name? Did he leave a message? Well, no. I asked him if he wanted to leave a message, but he said he'd just call back later. Really? Hmm. Well, I wonder who he is. Did you recognize his voice? No, I don't think I've heard his voice before. Andrea, why are you so interested in this caller? Well, I'm just wondering who this guy is. Oh, I see what's going on here. Actually, Andrea, the guy did sound pretty cute. You know, he probably called to ask you out on a date. Campbell! Anyway, let's go on with our lesson. Today, we're going to keep learning how to be polite on the phone. And here is today's mission for you. What does Mia think Jeff is too old to do? What does Mia think Jeff is too old to do? Oh, Andrea, I'll let you get that. It might be your special friend. All right, friends, let's start with conversation A. Okay. May I use your phone a minute? Sure. Thank you for calling the Net Cafe. This is Aaron. How may I help you? Aaron, I'd like to speak to the manager. I'm sorry, Becca is not available right now. May I take a message? No, thanks. I'll call back later. Goodbye. Becca, why did you call Aaron? And why did you use a different voice? I wanted to see how Aaron answers the phone. Sometimes he's not very professional. Well, Aaron sounds very professional. He's doing a great job on the phone. I just can't believe that Becca called him and used a different voice. She asked to speak to the manager. And yes, Aaron was very professional as he said, I'm sorry, Becca's not available right now. May I take a me message? She said she'd call back later. Now let's learn our keyword here. Message. Message. When you call someone and they're not available to answer the phone, you can leave a message. Right, a message. These are words that you tell someone to tell someone else. For example, if I call my friend and she's not home, I can leave a message. I can say, hi, this is Campbell. Can you call me back later? Thank you. Right, so you can leave a message for another person by telling someone else, or you can also leave a message on a machine. Okay, a message. Well, Becca didn't leave a message. She said that she would call back later. Now, what does it mean to call back later? Well, when you call back, that means you already tried to call that person once, and you're going to call them again. If you call someone and they're not there, you might want to call them again later. When you call them again, you call them back. That's true. Now let's learn more about this conversation from our friend, Thomas. Hi, Thomas. 大家好,我是Thomas. 一开始来看一个... Did he do a good job just now? Yes, he was very professional and polite. I want to call him. Jeff, 
What are you going to do? Don't worry, Mia. Aaron won't even know it's me. Honey, aren't you a little old to make prank calls? These aren't prank calls. They're tests. Hello? Hello? Net Cafe. What specials will you have next week? Hello? Hi, Aaron. Um, may I speak with the manager, please? Oh, she's not there? Oh, no thanks. I won't leave a message. I'll call back later. Thank you. Campbell, are you making a prank call? No, I wasn't making a prank call. A prank call is when you call someone as a joke because you think it's funny. I was calling Aaron to test him, just like our friends. Campbell! Well, can I try? <laughs> sure, but first, let's teach our lesson, okay? Okay. <laughs> well, in conversation B, Becca says Aaron did a good job answering the phone. He was very professional and polite. And polite is our keyword. Polite. Polite. If someone is polite, this means they have good manners. They are careful of what they say and what they do. They don't do anything to make anyone sad or angry. When someone is polite, they act the way they should act. We can say, Jonah is very polite. He always raises his hand in class when he wants to talk. Well, our next keyword here is special. 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 Now, when restaurants have specials, this is food that they don't sell all the time. This is food they serve only at special times. You can have a special of the month. This is food that they only serve for one month. Or a special of the week, food they only have for that week. All right, we found the answer to today's mission in this conversation. The question is, what does Mia think Jeff is too old to do? What does Mia think Jeff is too old to do? Well, she thinks he's a little old to make prank calls. <laughs> All right, friends, great job. Let's go and see our friend Thomas and learn some more. Put him on speakerphone. Okay. I'll check for you, sir. May I put you on hold? Sure. <laughs> wow, Becca, he's very polite. Yes, he is. I guess he really listened to me. <laughs> yeah. Actually, it's really cute. I know. <laughs> I want to call him next. Sure. Hello? What? Now Mia wants to call Aaron. I guess everyone wants to make a prank call. But they're not making prank calls, they're just testing Aaron. <laughs> just kidding. Well, at the beginning of our conversation, Becca quietly tells Jeff to put Aaron on speakerphone. Right, because if he's on speakerphone, everyone can listen to him. Well, Aaron asks, may I put you on hold? Let's learn our keyword here. On hold. On hold. When you're using the phone and you're waiting to speak to someone, you are on hold. You know, sometimes you might be talking to someone and they'll get another call on their phone. They might put you on hold to talk to the other person. Now, when you're on hold, you might hear some music or the radio playing as you wait for the person you want to talk to. We have another keyword here, and it's a really cute one. The word is cute. Cute. When someone is cute, they are really kind and sweet. When someone is cute, this means that they're kind and sweet. 就是可爱 In our conversation, the way Aaron is acting is really cute. Aaron is a cute guy. We also see our calendar phrase here. I know. 
I know. Well, we know that it's time to go see Thomas. Keywords. Hey friends, let's review today's keywords together. Our first keyword is message. Message. Can you give Jonathan a message for me? Tell him I'll be late. Polite. Polite. Michael is very polite. He always says please and thank you. Special. Special. This week's special is our chicken dinner. On hold. On hold. I called Mark, but he was busy, so he put me on hold. Cute. Cute. I love babies. They're so little and cute. All right, let's review one more time. Message. Message. Polite. Polite. Special. Special. On hold. On hold. Cute. Cute. Thank you for saying those with us. Now let's review today's conversations. May I use your phone a minute? Sure. Thank you for calling the Net Cafe. This is Aaron. How may I help you? Aaron, I'd like to speak to the manager. I'm sorry, Becca is not available right now. May I take a message? No thanks. I'll call back later. Goodbye. Becca, why did you call Aaron? And why did you use a different voice? I wanted to see how Aaron answers the phone. Sometimes he's not very professional. Did he do a good job just now? Yes, he was very professional and polite. I want to call him. Jeff, what are you going to do? Don't worry, Mia. Aaron won't even know it's me. Honey, aren't you a little old to make prank calls? These aren't prank calls. They're tests. Hello? Hello? Net Cafe? What specials will you have next week? Put him on speakerphone. OK. I'll check for you, sir. May I put you on hold? Sure. Wow, Becca, he's very polite. Yes, he is. I guess he really listened to me. Yeah, actually, it's really cute. I know. <laughs> I want to call him next. Sure. Hello. Two word verbs. Bye. Who was on the phone? It was Claire. She wanted to talk to you. Why didn't you tell me? I'm sorry. I didn't know you were here. She said she would call back. I'm not going to wait for her to call back. I need to talk to her now. What do you think she wants? I don't know. I just hope she doesn't call off our date. You have a date with Claire? It's not really a date. It's just two friends going to the movies. Well, I still hope she doesn't call it off. Me too. Calendar phrase. I know. I know. 我知道. My mother is coming to visit tomorrow. I know. So we should clean the house before she comes. I know. And we need to buy some more food. I know. Your mother eats a lot. I know. I know. I know. 我知道. 